Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I just got home from work. I worked 7 to 4 30. Actually I left 10 minutes early. I was a little bit of a rebel today. We've just had enough. So um, I figured today we're gonna do just like a little mini vlog. Um, it is almost 4 45. Josh and Grayson are getting their hair done at 4 45. So haircut whatever. Um, so I have probably a solid 45 minutes by myself. Um, so first and foremost, we are gonna make a drink. So we're gonna make an amaretto sour, which I have discovered is my drink of choice. I like many other things as well. Um, but this is my kind of like go-to when I'm out and about, I order an amaretto sour. So I researched um, how to make an amaretto sour. There's a couple of different options. Um, so today, we're gonna start off with this and then I'm probably going to um, clean up the kitchen while I cook dinner. Um, I work very early tomorrow. I work six to 3.30, so I had to be there at 5.45. So I wanna get dinner cooked tonight, that way I can pack it for my lunch tomorrow. So we're starting off with a mason jar glass full of ice. I don't have any fancy glasses, okay? I, I just don't. So keeping it classy with this, I've got some um, Marciano cherries. I love them, I love cherries. So we're putting those in first. Um, they have been in the refrigerator already, so they're good. Um, let's do the lemon juice next. So you can either do, um, I just have this lemon juice here, fresh squeeze would probably be better. Um, whatever, you can use lemon juice, or Sprite. Um, I don't necessarily want it to be like super fizzy, so we're going with the lemon juice. And then I have my amaretto right here. We have a drive-through um, Whiskey River, I think is what it's called, a drive-through um, alcohol place basically right by my house literally right by my house and I just went there yesterday for the first time to buy my amaretto um and let me tell you guys whoo, it's probably a smidge too much but that's okay dude it was such a great experience I literally drove up to the door she came out she asked me what I wanted she checked my ID took my card literally a minute later she comes out with my stuff and it was so freaking easy. Um, and then the last thing I'm doing, the Peachy Pineapple Paradise, the Tropicana, I got this one because they had a coupon for it. Um, I made this drink yesterday as well with a little bit um, too much juice in it. So it's just really personal preference. Like I said, you can use the lemon juice or Sprite. This, I made, made this yesterday. Put too much regular juice in it and not enough of the amaretto. Today, today I put more amaretto. If you guys don't know, I work in retail and if you also work in retail, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, we've all been having a shitty couple of years um, and it has been horrifying and it's driving us all to drink. Um, so anyway. Let's give this a try. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nailed it. This is delicious. Dude. Did you guys see how much of everything I put in there? Because this is exactly like it tastes at a restaurant or a bar, whatever. Oh my God, that is amazing. So typically this size of drink is gonna run you like $7 um, to buy at a restaurant or a bar-ish, depending on where it is. This entire bottle of Amaretto was $7. Um, and then obviously like this is gonna make me quite a few drinks, super cheap. Um, 
I honestly have no idea the prices of anything, but I would say I probably spent $15-ish on these ingredients, which would have gotten me two drinks. And let me tell you, I'm probably going to be having one of these every day for the foreseeable future. Because that's, working at retail sucks right now. Anyway, we're going to move past it. We're going to, um, what are we going to do? We're going to unload the dishwasher, reload the dishwasher while we're cooking dinner because as moms, we got to multitask um, and rush along before the boys get home. I am going to cook, um, I've been loving like a, a chicken thigh, like stir fry. Um, it heats up really, really well. I'm out of hoisin sauce, I believe, unless there's some stashed away um, in our cupboard. Um, but I you typically use um, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, and honey and butter. And then I like fry the chick, not fry, but like I cook the chicken in a skillet or in a pan. Um, and it gets it like this really thick sauce on it and then I like fry some rice with it and then typically do like zucchini or a vegetable or a couple different vegetables we'll see what we have but anyway that's what we're gonna do for dinner we're gonna make that up really quick while we're doing everything else you're gonna come along with me and we'll see how long we can record for um, we'll see how the night goes depending on our you know how crazy my two-year-old is being so anyway let's get into it and sauce which is amazing so if you want some really 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 delicious uh, like Asian style chicken get some soy sauce hoisin sauce and some honey dump it into a pan just eyeball it it doesn't matter and some butter boneless skinless chicken thighs you do not want to have to take the bone out because it's a pain in the ass. So boneless, skinless chicken thighs. White meat is supposedly better for you, but it's still chicken. So I consider that healthy. Um, and then just, you know, we're going to cook it on the stove top and it is going to be freaking delicious. Um, we're going to cook some zucchini and some rice with it. Zucchini is done, the chicken is done, the rice will be done in a couple of minutes. If you don't use the five minute rice, highly recommend, it is amazing. Um, anyway, so as I was finishing that, I was thinking to myself, what is my child going to eat? Because I know he's not gonna wanna eat what I made. So we are using the toaster oven over here. Um, I'm going to make him fish sticks and spinach bites. Um, and then he'll probably have some sort of fruit with it. Um, we have watermelon. He loves watermelon. Um, we have pineapple. We'll see about that. Um, toddlers, 
Toddlers are so challenging. Um, but he has been liking fish sticks lately. So I've got six fish sticks in there. And these are really, really yummy. I eat these too sometimes. Uh, but they're spinach bites. So they have some vegetables in there. Not as healthy as like just eating a plain vegetable. But it's something. And if I can get him to eat anything, I'm pretty happy about it. Because if you have kids, you know toddlers are so stinking picky. Anyway, so it's it's almost 5.30 now. So that took me like 45 minutes to do all of that. Almost. Right? No. It only took me like 30 minutes. That's not too bad. Um, anywho. So I'm hoping that I can get this done and plated and like eaten before the boys come home, but we'll see. So I'm going to end this video here. I feel like, I feel like it's been kind of rambly, kind of weird, but I just felt like kind of chit chatting with you guys. Um, I'm trying to do, I want to do more like videos on days that I'm at work. So you get more of like a real picture of like what my life is like when I come home from work. Um, Cause on my days off, I literally get up, clean, cook breakfast, clean, work on YouTube, work on TikTok, um, work on our podcast stuff. And then on the days that I work, I'm literally, I've had a lot of caffeine today, but I literally come home after working nine to 10 hours, depending on the day. And then if it's a morning shift, I come home, we cook dinner, we clean up, um, probably do a little bit of cleaning. I think I'm gonna get Josh to vacuum tonight. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna kind of wipe down the kitchen tonight. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I work at 5.45 tomorrow morning, so I'll get this stuff ready and prepped for tomorrow in a container and then uh, I should be able to fit two of those pans in the dishwasher. So, doing good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today. I hope you liked this type of video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you enjoy this type of stuff. I will try to do more of these, but you know, it's easy to make a promise. Not as easy to keep the promise. So, um, yes, that is all. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.